welcome back to the to the little tutorial and uh, last time we have uh, done all the blushing the first layer of uh, blushing so this time we will go ahead and just um, put some layer of paint to give the skin tone color we want I have a lot of dust on my kit because it's hot those days and I left my windows open <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, be careful yourself with that. It's a pain to uh, remove all the little dust and lint. So, you, um, if you use a primary color like me, uh, that's easy. You will add a red, yellow, and blue until you achieve the look you want. Or you could do a mix of the the method and add some primary color with a premix color or um, other color than those primary like uh, uh, I like to use uh, dioxazin dio purple. <laughs> yes. I like to use this. I like to use um, burnt umber or raw umber depending on the color I want um, yellow ochre or maybe even this uh, alizarin crimson uh, to give uh, to give more depth can use green can use all the color you want uh, not necessarily just the primary color but if you are on a budget and you don't have a lot of money you can achieve a great skin tone and a great reborn with only three colors. That's no more than that. Uh, four maybe if you add a white. Because those little things are uh, kind of uh, expensive. I don't know where you live, but here in Quebec, uh, it's, it's one to um, eight to 12 dollar the bottle in Canadian Canadian dollar so that's kind of uh, expensive uh, for 50 dollars of paint just with the primary color so uh, don't have to buy all the color chart um, I have a lot because uh, here and there when uh, when I go to the store I, I buy uh, one that uh, I think may be useful. I like, I love paint, so <laughs> I, I love to buy them and uh, I hope to be able to paint on canvas again soon. I have stopped uh, when my kids were young and uh, I miss it. So you go ahead and uh, you take uh, the color you want here. I will, uh, if you want to do the same as me, uh, I go with the red to begin with just because <laughs> there's no uh, no reason. Um, if your kit seem already too red, go with the blue. If your kit is already is uh, yellow, go with red. If your kit is uh, too blue, go with yellow. You can uh, play with that. Is if your kit is red already because of the blush, uh, you are not. Uh, it's not ob an obligation to put more red. You can just go ahead with blue and yellow, and that will be great. Um, you can do two layer of blue for one of red. Uh, that there is no uh, rules uh, about that. Uh, it will really depend on the look you want to achieve. And uh, that you will see uh, by doing it. I can't tell you ju just do this layer, but not this one. It's really up to you. Um, I don't like to uh, to uh, do uh, uh, to be uh, too much a directive. I don't know how to say it. I want to let you learn yourself because that the. Uh, best way to learn and to improve if you only follow a recipe uh, you will ne never be able to uh, to go ahead and try new techniques you will be afraid of messing your kit 
or even more uh, you will not be able to improve or to ad adapt the technique you will always need it and that's not really what an artist is I prefer to give you clue about how to mix color and where to put it and uh, how to apply it but for as for the color themselves it's really by uh, experimenting you will be able to uh, to get the color you want I know that may seem a bit frustrating for some some people really need a step by step and recipes and how much do I put medium arm, how much uh, red do I put in my mix and all those kind of things but I don't think that's the, the best way to help you to give you all the my own mix and other than that that's uh, that's fun but uh, where are my brush <laughs> excuse me that's fun but but it's uh, I don't do exactly the same for each doll uh, I like to experiment myself and try new things try new color try a new place to put them so it will be really hard to me to uh, to just tell you do this and do that some uh, paint dry here so it's better to learn to by yourself and try experiments if you really are afraid to uh, to mess up a kit um, you can practice on uh, practice piece Uh, practice uh, limbs or head just take it like this. you can uh, you can practice or you can buy maybe cheap uh, kit the deal you uh, can have at Bountiful Baby that will give you a, a nice uh, nice way to practice and if you can't have those pieces, those test part, go ahead, do like, do the kit uh, as you want, try, and if it's not really what you have in mind or you think you have messed up, just strip it. That's it, you strip and you start over. And that's a good thing to strip kit beside of the fact that you uh, you can uh, reuse your kit and don't uh, have to throw it away uh, that's a good thing because when you strip what what happens often is that the kit um, stay stained by some color often it will become more yellow so you strip a kit one time, two time, three time, and it became more yellow or more red because it is stained. You will learn how to neutralize a kit or how to do a color correction. So that's not a bad thing. Like you see, I, I just go and with my brush, but you can go put the paint on your sponge directly and just bounce it directly. That's a that's another way to do it. It's really depend depend of uh, your mood, I think. When I have bigger kit, I like to go directly with the sponge. It's less work than to do it all with the 
the paintbrush then go over with the sponge but it's a uh, it's a matter of uh, preference and I will use my paint brush 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 anyway to uh, to go uh, in those uh, difficult places and if you are unsure to how to apply the paint go go back and uh, see my uh, first part I show you more in detail So I will not uh, show you uh, all the limbs uh, for each color. I will just show you uh, one at a time, and you will see the the difference it makes. I just finish this one, then uh, I will uh, go ahead with my uh, legs, and I will uh, show you next color what difference it, it makes. You will see the change in the color. Just, just side to side after a red layer. See that not, not a big difference. So I, I will let you continue that. I will do my legs and be back for the next color. So now I have done all the red. I will go ahead with uh, my yellow. I mixed um, my primary yellow with a bit of uh, yellow ochre because I find my primary yellow a bit too uh, yellow, <laughs> a bit too uh, bright. So uh, I just tone it down with uh, a bit of uh, yellow ochre. That's a really nice color here. Uh, be careful to really add a lot of uh, medium and water in your yellow because it's stain a lot. So you don't have to put uh, uh, a lot of... Uh, I don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> you don't want it to be too dark to concentrate. You don't want it to stain too much. So be really careful with it. Um, so I go ahead and do all the same step. I go with my brush uh, on the difficult part to reach with the sponge. So the, the maybe the more uh, deep uh, crease uh, the ear, nostril. This one uh, have really little nostril but sometimes you will have a more profound uh, more deep deep nostril I lost my word <laughs> go ahead and pounce it very well you don't want runny paint at all nowhere uh, it's a it happen it's happen it's not when you uh, are really careful you will limit the, the damage I really hope you understand me. Sometimes I really doubt myself. You are very kind in your comment. You tell me very nice things, but <laughs> sometimes I'm I'm sure you don't understand a word <laughs> of what I'm saying. Well, I think I may just go uh, better. <laughs> also. Uh, the more I do it, the more it will be easier to me, I think, I hope. Uh, what is difficult to me is the pronunci pronunciation. I'm really good to read English, to understand, but to say the word is a bit tricky. So, but you really you already see a difference. The, the back of the end and the, the front. All the yellow undertone you have put will pop pop up with this layer. It's the same for the blue and the red. You will see the the part you have done when you put blue you will see the blue part 
really uh, pop up, became uh, more uh, visible. So here's the difference with a leg and the face. You can see it's really more yellow. Come along. I will do a blue layer. Then I will show you uh, what uh, purple can uh, add to the kit. Really love to add the purple layer. You can do it just by mix your blue and uh, your red. Uh, obviously, obviously, naturally. <laughs> but uh, you can also use uh, a real purple. So now the blue. Some people think that when you use primary method, it takes a uh, long, very long, and a lot of layers to achieve a nice skin tone. But it's not true. You can achieve a really, really nice skin tone with about two, three rounds of primary color if you like it uh, more fair. Um, I tend to make pale babies because my skin is pale, so I, if I compare <laughs> to my skin, I am uh, almost there and I don't even uh, done a uh, full uh, two rounds, so um, it really depends on how dark you want your baby. Uh, it's true when you want to uh, make an, uh, an ethnic baby or an uh, Afro-American baby, uh, yes, it would take more uh, more round, but for a, a fair skin or just a Caucasian baby, it's not it's not uh, so much. Bounce, bounce it. You see, I mess up with uh, my red. This part uh, has dry before I can pounce it. It's not too bad because it's behind the ears, but that's why you have to be really careful not to uh, put too much paint uh, at a time. Be able to pounce it before it dries. I ate when uh, it happens, but that's uh, that's life. And now I know some someone, some people, maybe two, three people, have uh, asked me uh, how long it takes to uh, for a layer to dry to be uh, able to do another layer. Uh, usually. The head is dry when you reach the last leg, but I will show you, you will see by yourself. I put my blue layer and I will check with you when, uh, when it will be uh, completely dry. And by dry, I mean there the dry to the touch, not dry cure because you will have to wait a few days to the paint to cure well and to uh, bond with uh, the vinyl before you uh, you can uh, you can varnish over and the paint will not uh, be uh, removable but for the for the, the, the dry dry to the touch it's already dry to the touch and I just put and just went back behind the, behind the head and go front and it's already dry to the touch so it, it's really fast it's not long uh, you do not have to wait 10 minutes before the next layer 
what what I suggest you is to wait um, maybe do two three layer uh, of all the kit then wait maybe a few hours before uh, doing other layer on top just to um, to give the paint the time to set uh, really correctly if you do too much layer at the time uh, it may be more long to cure and you will you will be uh, you will have some trouble maybe when you want to add uh, some blush on the cheek you will notice that the paint you add remove the paint under so often it happens when the kit is not uh, have too much layer or not dry enough but uh, usually to do uh, uh, two, three, four layers of paint. You can do them back to back. That's not a, not a problem. So this layer with the blue, you can see the difference. Not the big one. So maybe with another run, we can have a really nice skin tone. But I will show you. Uh, I will do my other layers on the limb later. I will do a, a purple layer just to to show you. Purple and uh, maybe a burnt umber. You will see what it gives to the kit. And uh, for the beginners, another tip: if you want to uh, make sure that you have done all the limbs the same. <laughs> And uh, not be uh, left with a uh, legs uh, darker than the other. You make sure that you do the piece all in the same order. So if you begin with the head and do the right arms, the left arm, the right leg, the left leg, something like that, do all the same always. Like that, you uh, will be sure that you uh, don't miss a layer. On the, on the limb and do two of the same on the on the other because like as you can see at this stage uh, it's not easy to see the progress so it's easy to mistake to to uh, to don't know if I, I have put the yellow on this part or or not uh, it's difficult to see so uh, in doing that in order you will be able to see so I will go with the purple. Uh, I see uh, one. That's that's purple. You can uh, you can use a mix of uh, red and blue, or you can use this color. Will not do uh, much because I will only do one. It seems dark, but you will see with the medium in the water what color it will make. I love this color so much. Just be careful because like the blue and red it's stain. So I will add uh, a full brush of medium. I don't really measure my medium. I uh, go uh, with what I feel is right. And you see the, the color, how nice this color is. I will add water to make my wash. If you feel that you will have to add too much water, just add a little bit more of medium, that will be okay. We will test it here. It's a bit too dark. And add a little bit more water. That's enough for the water. A bit too dark, and I just put a, a little drop, not uh, not a lot. Don't do what I do and uh, wash your uh, paintbrush before. So I think that may be a nice wash. This paint is 
really 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 pigmented seems okay yes um <laughs> my uh, my paper towel is uh, it's full of color that that's great so you see how beautiful this color is I will go ahead and apply it. I will take another sponge. I uh, tend to use my sponge, overuse them, because what happens with air dry is that the, the edge will dry eventually, and you can't really put them aside and reuse them later because that dry part, even if you wash them, those edge will dry and that will not be and the paint go inside too that makes a dark uh, a more uh, dense uh, hard core and the reason why I remove the top of the sponge is just to give the skin uh, uh, some uh, texture and also to not have a straight edge all over. So I begin by the the eyes. Mouth, I go uh, everywhere, like any other wash. I just remove the excess with my sponge and then uh, with a dry uh, mop brush because I don't want any uh, drop of paint. This video may be a bit longer than the, the other ones because I want to show you all the, the difference between all the color, see the progress because after that we uh, just uh, I have to, uh, we just have to, uh, to do the details and that will be done. I'm not sure if you will be able to see it very well on the kit, on the camera, but in real life it gives a nice kind of a translucent skin. That's very, very, very nice. And maybe as the layer is very, uh, very pale, very uh, dilute, I may add uh, another one as a last uh, layer. I like to do that. I really like the, the effect. Maybe you will not be able to see a lot of difference. But uh, I think it gives life, real life uh, appearance to the kit. Then after that, you will do a same kind of mix, but with um, your uh, burnt umber. And I just want to show you what kind of color this little guy here makes. It's a uh, Lizarin Crimson. Drop. We'll add a little bit of medium. Look at that. Really nice pinkish red. Really nice for uh, blushing. 
pretty nice color you can use for blushing and uh, another color you can use if you don't like to mix your color is that one but I'm not sure if it's the right name for the color it seems to be another color than the what appears here but it's a canyon red deep you uh, and I don't know why it's pink, really pink. Just show you again a little bit. I often use this to uh, put a layer on the kit. Like the purple it gives a really, really nice undertone. Look at that really, really nice pink red. Really bright. So those are, are some color that you can use on your kit without having to buy uh, expensive reborn paint, pre-mixed paint color, or without having to um, um, mix your primary color just those color can be very useful on a kit you have also those kind of color that can be very uh, useful if you want to uh, burnt burn sienna and uh, raw sienna that are uh, very useful too and you have um, let me see here uh, Oxid Violet. It's a nice, nice color to add to a skin tone too. It's kind of a purplish brown. So those are some color you can uh, you can go ahead and use on uh, on your kit. So uh, I will continue to apply my uh, my blue over my uh, my blue uh, where my blue over the kit and uh, the purple and then I will uh, show you uh, the result uh, with uh, after the purple I will do a burnt umber wash and I will show you the result so now I have uh, complete uh, my purple layer and my uh, burnt umber layer if you don't have burnt umber just go ahead and do another uh, round of uh, primary color uh, that will do uh, about the same uh, you can uh, skip the, the purple too if you want uh, or you can go ahead do the purple and do a pink layer like I showed you uh, just before so uh, go and play with those colors, examine the result you have, um, take no notes if you uh, have here, yeah. take notes if you want to remember what you did, if you like the result and you want to, uh, to uh, do it another time on a, another kit. Uh, it's art, so you do it as you want there's not really a rule fix for the color of a baby uh, the only one maybe is not to uh, make it too blue or gray tone because uh, it's uh, really disturbing um, it seems uh, lifeless so um, go and play with uh, those colors I will continue to apply my primary color uh, maybe another layer of purple later because uh, she is still pale compared to my skin tone so uh, I will probably add more to it uh, you uh, bring it to the color you want uh, just to make a little com comparison I will take the leg here with a blanket that's a blanket that's what we have done so far. You 
you see the color, it's amazing the difference. We see all the, the mottling, all the, the blush, uh, the skin tones. And uh, don't worry, in the camera you will see probably the mottling um, maybe uh, excessive, but in real life it's not, uh, it's not uh, that uh, visible. It's just the, 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 the light. But you see that just with a few, a two rounds of uh, primary color and a few rounds of mottling, we have done this. Um, so go ahead, continue, uh, bring it to the color you want, and uh, next time I will show you how to uh, make all the the details. Uh, we will um, work uh, more on the crease. Um, because we have some that are um, maybe uh, pale uh, in some place. We will do the the eyelids, uh, work on the lips and uh, other few details uh, and the nails probably or maybe in another, another videos I will uh, show you the nails and uh, the varnish. So for today that's it. I hope that uh, that has been helpful. Helpful. <laughs> I really have trouble those times. I hope you like uh, this video and uh, please uh, tell me what uh, what kind of videos you uh, you will want to see next after this tutorial. Um, I kind of uh, have, uh, have uh, make all the the tutorial that I could. Uh, maybe I can uh, redo some of my French tutorial in English if you want to, or if you want to see uh, other type of videos. I uh, I'm open to uh, all your uh, ideas. So that's it for today. Have a nice day. See you next time. Bye bye.